Hey everyone, as you can tell, we're back at the houseboat. It's April 2022 and we're getting ready to start our second full houseboating season here up at the lake and we're really excited about it. Uh, we haven't been posting a lot over the past couple months because if you have been following along, you know that we've been spending some time moving from Atlanta to Watkinsville, Georgia, which is just outside of Athens, Georgia. And Claire's down here playing with us and she's, she's really excited to be back up at the lake. Um, so yeah, everything's in the house. There's definitely a lot of boxes to unpack and some picture frames to hang, but we've been spending a lot of time getting used to the local area and we're sharing a lot of that on our Instagram page, Deep Houseboat Life. We've been checking out the local running club, some local restaurants and breweries and playgrounds and it's just been a really fun experience. In the long run, it's gonna be great for our family making the move, but it's very tiring in the short run. So that's why I've been taking a bit of a break. So we are tired, but it's great to come up to the lake, get rejuvenated. And we're looking forward to talking about a few uh, spring projects we have coming up. Um, but we're excited to be back up here and sharing everything with everybody and we'll catch up with you in just a little bit. Does it feel good to be at the houseboat? So it is crazy pretty today. We actually didn't expect it to be so warm and not windy. So we've decided that we're going to last minute take our boat out on the lake and maybe try to find a beach for the day. One of the reasons we're actually up here is that we're trying to figure out all the things that we need to fix before we go boat camping, hopefully sometime in May. And as part of that, we're gonna test the engines out and make sure everything's still working. And we actually had a really bad storm come through Northeast Georgia about a couple weeks ago. And we wanted to come up here and see if there's any kind of damage or anything that we needed to fix. In addition to the list of things that we already know needs to be fixed on our boat. And uh, let me show you a couple of things while Trey is actually getting their boat ready to take out of the things that we found that needed to be fixed after this storm. Yo, Trey. How excited are you to take the boat out today? Was this a last minute decision or what? Yeah. <laughs> almost, almost one in the afternoon to kind of puff the wind. That normally doesn't happen. Yeah. Claire just went down for her nap and she actually normally naps pretty good when we're uh, out on the water. Knock on wood. But it should be a fun day. So one of the things that we noticed when we came up here to check after the storm, and we're not talking about the snowstorm, I'm talking about a random, just like really bad uh, thunderstorm that came through Northeast Georgia a couple weeks ago. It was so windy that the blades on our fan on our top deck are uh, definitely broken off. I think we can fix it though. And there's this little thing. Is that a light kit? I don't know. Broken. Pretty minor damage though, to be honest with you, compared to what it could have been. One of the things that also happened during that storm Pretty much all of the zip ties that hold this canvas together flew off and we know that we probably actually need to eventually replace all these because they're pretty old. So whenever there's like a really bad storm that comes through, all the old zip ties will get yanked off and we usually need to replace them right away, especially if there's a lot. Oh look, there's one right here. We need to replace this one, see? Pretty much all the canvas on this side was just hanging loose. So Trey went to Ace Hardware and got a bunch of zip ties. Oh, there's another one. We need to do that one too. There you go. So what you'll notice is the zip ties here that we replaced them with are smaller than these bigger ones. So eventually one of our projects this year is to replace all the old zip ties with new zip ties so we won't have to worry about it. But all in all, minor damage from that storm, but still something to fix usually whenever we come to the boat. You can hear Trey down there turning on the engine. Sounds like both of them are turned on. So far, so good. One of the th things that we also need to do to get our boat ready for the spring and summer is, as you can tell, our boat is pretty dirty. And we learned last year that we actually don't want to clean our entire boat by ourselves. So we went ahead and put ourselves on the list at our marina to have somebody come and clean it. And hopefully we'll have that done before Memorial Day. 
so we are ready for boat camping, ready to have people hang out with us and all that, but that's just one more thing on our to-do list for spring cleaning. We'll also probably clean the inside of our boat too, but that's something that we can do no problem. But the outside, we're gonna have help. My sweets. Hello. How's it going? Doing great. Trying out our new trick of tying the ropes from the aft, running them and tying them off on the front so I don't have to get in the water. Yeah. That was something that uh, one of our viewers, actually several of our viewers last year when they watched our houseboat camping video, were like, hey bro, you're doing it wrong with these lines. Yeah, I called it lines instead of ropes, first of all, that we should tie them to the back to the front so you don't have to shimmy down the side like we did last time. We appreciate the comments. Helps us learn. Here we go. Drew, is that Marty? You can tell we've done this a couple of times when we're not really like, I don't know, maybe you're a little puckered up, but I'm not. Just a little bit. Maybe it's because Claire's downstairs napping. I'm a little less distracted. And I can help you more. Dory, is it gonna be a great day? Are you gonna go run around this island? home sweet home our neighbors moved down under a covered slip down here living the good life down here go say hey How's it feel? Man, this is life, huh? It's great. Especially knowing that it's only going to get warmer. Yeah. I'm wearing a pair of pants right now, and I think I need to go change into shorts because it's like 80 degrees. This is awesome. Okay, so tell me about this gremlin that we had on our boat after the snowstorm. We thought we got out of there unscathed. We thought it was all okay. It's, it's it wasn't. No, wasn't okay. it wasn't. It's not at all. So the morning we left, I just thought little heat pump couldn't keep up with everything because it was 20 degrees outside. But evidently there was a short in our shore power connection, and we only had half of the power coming to the boat which caused the heat pump to not work. It would turn on, like on the air handler, but it wouldn't actually work. So we had an electrician come out here and say that we needed, needed some new power cables. Uh, so we bought some. The ones that we had came with the boat and they were tied together and they had been rained on and they were kind of rusty. And so hopefully we fixed the gremlin because we've had no power issues since the middle of February when we found them. 
didn't you find like a really good deal on the power cords that you bought too? I did. So I, I found two 35 foot, two <laughs> 35 foot shore power cords at Home Depot shipped to the house for only $900, which after I thought I was getting ripped off. So I called an electrician. He said, buy them now. You're stealing them at that price, given how much commodity prices have gone up. So and all the RVing and stuff, all the RVing and all that stuff. So we have essentially 70 foot of brand new 50 amp shore power connections delivered to the front door for 900 bucks via Home Depot. Works to live in Atlanta. <laughs> yeah, so we thought we got out of there and skated, but luckily you figured out what was wrong with it. Yeah, it took a little troubleshooting. Yeah. I've got the video of the air handler turning on and off, so I knew knew it was there. And we also came up and we would turn the generator on and the air handler would work great. And then we'd switch over to shore power and it wouldn't work. So through process of elimination, we very quickly figured out that it had something to do with the power pedestal to the boat and an electrician quickly verified that it was the shore power cables themselves. So now all we have to do is fix our fan on the top deck yeah. Make sure all the zip ties are on after another random storm. And you wanted to get some work done on the impellers? No, replace them, right? Replace the impellers. We haven't done it since we bought the boat. So just for peace of mind, I'd like to get that done. The previous owner was very, very savvy and on top of everything. So we didn't go out too much last year, so I'm sure that they're fine. But just for peace of mind and wanting to do a lot of boat camping this year, it's uh, a little bit of money that'll be worth it should they uh, know that they won't fail. So then you're going to get some work done on the generator, right? Yeah, yeah I'm yeah. going to have the antifreeze checked out and a few other things. Uh, just, just a good once over. Um, and we should be ready for uh, boat camping. But I am hesitant about fixing the fan because as soon as we fix it, something else will break. <laughs> I think I can live with that fan. <laughs> yeah. Well, what about the sending unit? Uh, ah, the sending unit. unit. Yeah, we're always, we're always on empty here. So as soon as we get the sending unit fixed, that'll be, that'll be nice. Other than that and getting the boat clean, that's the last little bit of to-dos before we can really uh, go houseboat camping. Look Not at a bad list, I'll take it. Pelican Pete's. Pelican Pete's. Getting some work done. Like that beach over there is spoken for. <laughs> spoken for and popular. So where are we gonna go instead? I don't know. I don't uh, know. There's this chain of islands called Three Sisters. I've never been on the back side of it, so I'm yeah, along back there and, and uh, check it out. There's 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 beaches on the front part, but they're right in the main channel, and I don't mind. I don't want to be exposed to the main channel. We can avoid it. And if not, then we'll just teetotal. Will? Teetotal and go back to the marina. <laughs> So this beach right here, is this the one that Watts on Wheels on their YouTube channel took their houseboat on? I think so. Yeah. It looks like even on a Tuesday, today's Tuesday, right? Yep, today's Tuesday. Still a popular beach. Oh well. I see something, but that probably like a big thing of leaves. Yeah. Do you see it? Yeah. Head of coral. Head head of coral. Boomers. Definitely rocks on that side, and rocks under the water here.
Mind your way at all? Yep, it's leaves. Yep. There's a rock on the beach, like right there. Okay. Whee! Hold on, Dory. Dory, helping tie the lines. That's really sweet. Found our beach for the day. We keep saying we're probably not gonna boat camp tonight, but man, I don't know. It's a gorgeous spot. Did you get the last line tied? Yeah, I'm gonna try. I'll run it up a little bit further, I think, but I'm pretty much done. Sweet. Hey, look at this water. Beautiful. hanging out in the top deck tonight. The sunset was pretty, but it was also kind of mute. It's all right. How can you complain? We've got dinner. All right. Ooh, what are you eating? Some collard greens with some pulled pork that I made the other day. Chicken. And uh, what's left over of a uh, sweet potato. Yum. It was really good. That pulled pork you made on the big green egg the other day has been very giving. I'm not one to brag, but I, I know how to cook pork. <laughs> you do? To, I do. Know how to smoke some meat. Smoke some meat. <laughs> hey, Dory. Oh, wee. You like that sloth, don't you? It's cute. Kind of like a kitty cat. Yeah. A tree cat. How'd you sleep last night, Dado? I slept really good, except for these geese came through partying last night. 
They were, oh, yeah. we were really loud. They were really loud. <laughs> so we had our, the generator turned off. Mm-hmm. And we had the screen door open. It was so nice with the weather. But man, those geese were partying. We must be on their turf and they don't like us here or something. I, yeah. I can kind of see them out the window, like, waiting for us to waiting for us to cast off and head out this morning. Yeah, there might be some goslings nearby or something. <laughs> uh, we had a good day yesterday, though. We uh, This is definitely the great way to spend our maiden voyage of 2022. Last minute houseboat camping. Mm-hmm. I guess we didn't really say exactly why we went houseboat camping. It's the one year anniversary birthday, birthday. of Deep Houseboat Life Yay. Channel. And what better way to celebrate than with some houseboat camping. That's right. Houseboat camping with a sweet pea. But we didn't actually get anything done on our to-do list before we went out and houseboat camped. We thought we were going to do all these things. Nope. And we just decided to say, nope, let's go. Why do it now when you can do it later? Especially when it comes to houseboat camping. Mm-hmm. Yes. That's right. That's right. So it should be a pretty, uh, pretty short list of stuff we need to get done once we get back to the dock, but it was worth it. Till next time. Bye. We're going to head out of here. Bye. Till next time. <laughs>